Today, we are going to be doing a little CTF. Um, it's called Bandit. It is one of the more basic CTFs. It goes from level 0 to level 33. So there's 33 levels to this thing. Um, we're not doing all of them in this video because that would be a lot. And the video would be long as hell. The Bandit CTF is supposed to be like a very beginner friendly CTF. Like, you have to know the concepts, like SSH, because you have to SSH, like, into the box or whatever, but, um, yeah. It's kind of just, like, to dip your toes in, so to speak. So, this is the CTF. Um, the URL to get here is overthewire.org slash wargames slash bandit. Uh, so this is on Over the Wire, which is the thing here if you can see my mouse in the corner uh okay so we're on level zero this game like most other games is organized in levels you start at level zero and try to beat or finish it finishing a level results in information on how to start the next level the pages on the website level x contain information on how to start level x from the previous level all levels in the game have a page on the website and they are linked to from the side menu on the left page. You will encounter many situations in which you have no idea what you are supposed to do. Don't panic, don't give up. The purpose of this game is for you to learn the basics. Part of learning the basics is reading a lot of new information. Facts. If you've never used the command line before, a good first read is this. Introduction to user commands. There are several things you can try when you're unsure on how to continue. Use the manual man page. Uh, yeah. A command might be a shell built in and that you could, in that case, use help. Also, your favorite search engine is your best friend. Google, lastly, if you're stuck, you can join us via chat. You're ready to begin with level zero linked at the left. Good luck. Okay, introduction to user commands. Now, oh. okay, I clicked on the introduction to user commands and it looks like it is just um, a man page. So, oh. Okay, yeah. So, open SSH remote login client. SSH is a program for logging into a remote machine and for executing commands on a remote machine. Secure encrypted communications between two untrusted hosts over an insecure network. So yeah, I guess these are just the man pages. Yeah. So let's start this ho. Quick intermission to talk about today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. Brilliant is a learning platform designed to be uniquely effective. Their first principles approach helps you build an understanding from the ground up. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concepts, a method proven to be six times more effective than watching lecture videos. Plus, all content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Caltech, Duke, Google, and Microsoft. Brilliant helps you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not just memorizing. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you'll also be becoming a better thinker. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do, both for your personal and professional growth. Brilliant helps you build real-world knowledge in minutes a day, with fun lessons you can do whenever you have time. And it's the complete opposite of mindless scrolling. Brilliant just released new feature content, and one that I find personally very interesting is the programming content. Brilliant's growing number of programming courses are a really great way to build real-world knowledge and real-world applications of programming languages. Get familiar with Python and start building programs on day one with a built-in drag-and-drop editor. Learn essential coding elements from loops and variables to nesting and conditionals. Develop your mind to think like a programmer, building a strong foundation and writing robust programs. Try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for full 30 days. Click this link. Also, link in description as well. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription, so... Who can beat that? That's a deal. 
That's a deal. Click the link. It's a deal. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. That wasn't meant to be a pun, but it turned out to be a pun. Wait, we need to wait. We need SSH. Okay, level zero. We're starting at level zero. Okay. Bandit level zero. The goal of this level is for you to log into the game using SSH. The host switch you need to connect to is bandit.labs.overthewire.org on port 2220. The username is bandit.0 and the password is bandit.0. And it seems like the username and password are over here too for the SSH information. Okay. Now that our terminal is open, connect to bandit.labs.overthewire.org on port 2220. Username is bandit0. So, we do. Bandit0 at... And that is a yes. Oh. Yes. And the password is bandit zero. And we are in. Okay. So we have cessation. So we're going to go to level one now. The password for this next level is stored in a file called README located in the home directory. Whenever you find a password for a level, use SSH on port 2220 to log into that level and continue the game. Okay. Clear. README, okay. The password you are looking for is right here. And I just catted README. Bandit1. Uh, I didn't, I didn't write down the password. Hold on. Password. Paste. Okay, there we go. Now we're in bandit one. Bandit level one, finally. The password for the next level is stored in a file called dash. Located in the home directory. Okay, why are we, why are we doing so many in the home directory? So if we just do the dash, it's not going to return anything. So. For this one, we do cat dot slash dash, and there it is. So let's copy and then exit. And I'm assuming it's just going to be bandit two. Yep. Paste. Clear. Okay. Now we're in bandit 2. The password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. Okay. I didn't do car. Cat. Spaces. Okay, there's the password. That was easy. All this is just catting files so far, it looks like. Bandit 2, Bandit 3. Password, paste. Clear. Okay, Bandit 3. The password for the next level is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory. Okay, so to see hidden files, you do ls a. And then in here, so. Oh, it's in the directory, Psh, not a file. Well, duh. Directories and files are different because they're different colors. Oh, sorry. ls a. Hiding from you. And there we go. OK. 
copy. Exit. Three, we're going to four. Paste. Clear. Okay. The password for the next level is stored in a only human readable file in the in here directory. The only human readable file. Okay. Okay, so the only human readable file, and these are all the files. Okay, so we could cat all these, um, but that would be a lot. So we can just do file Oh, maybe not that one. Hold on, we can do file dot slash wildcard. Okay, there we go. So you see data 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 ASCII. So it's files. Um, file, it's file seven. Okay, and I did the dot slash wildcard because um, the files they start with a uh, dash. So period slash wildcard to like kind of just like negate the negate the dash. That's the 07. So we do slash. And there is the password. But like for example, if we wanted to like see what the inside of these looked like, you could do file let's go zero six. And then that is what that would look like. Um, Non-human readable text. Next one. The password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all the following properties. Human readable, 1033 bytes, non-executable. Okay, so. So it has all of these directories, which we're looking for a specific file in the specific directory with all of those characteristics. We get a little overview of what is inside these directories. So like, for example, if we change to one, maybe here, let's do like 11 ls. So like we would have to cat spaces file. Oh, sorry, cat. Spaces file two, and then like we would just have to like go through all the tedious processes, which um, we're not doing. So clear. Oh wait, hold on. We need to go back a directory and just go back at cd dot dot. Okay. So there's that. For this one also, instead of using grep and grepping everything, we are going to be using find. Find dot dash type f and it is type f for file. Size, what was it? 1033. Executable dash exe for an executable file and then pipe we are doing the slash exe file parentheses dot slashes whatever um to execute the file command and get the file data type and then we're just grepping ascii because that's what it's looking for so there she blows ascii text with very long lines may be here 07 dot file two so 
zero seven ls it's a quick um intermission on my part probably not on the editing part but my camera died um okay wait where were we Well, damn, I don't remember the password. Um, well, okay, from that last clip, like, you kind of got the point of what to do. You you just you just had to cat the vial. Um, yeah. That's technically Bandit. Uh, sorry you didn't get to see the password of the last file, and I'd like you to be able to, like, kind of see it anyway. Uh, but yeah. That's basically Bandit for you. Uh, go and try it on your own. See what's up. Uh, Yeah. Very beginner friendly CTF like grepping, finding, catting, CDing. So, yeah, pretty simple. But, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe.